Howdy doody! Todd Harney again. So you may have seen the videos we've done where I go over my pack contents and my clothing for this sheep hunt we're going on. Lastly, I want to dive into the food I'm going to take in and kind of the thought process behind all that. So again, 11 day hunt. I've got 10 days worth of food packed here. Typically on backpack hunts, I find that I'm not eating every day's worth of food each day. So if this hunt does go the full 11 days, I can count on it that I'm going to have some leftover stuff to carry that last day. Then again, if tags are filled early, it doesn't even matter because at that point we'll just gorge ourselves and hike off the mountain. Uh, as far as how I'm packing them, I have everything in these Mountain Laurel Dyneema dry bags. I like Dyneema for this versus Sil Nylon. One, because there's huge weight savings, but also this stuff doesn't absorb moisture over the course of a hunt. So if it's, I've got all my food in here and it's in kind of a clammy, wet all the time Sil Nylon bag, that's just reducing the freshness on all this stuff. So these bags are great for multiple reasons. I've got all the freeze dried in one bag so that I only have to go into it twice a day for breakfast and dinner. All my daily food is packed in a separate one in their own organized bags. Starting out in the morning for each day I have a Berries and Granola Peak Refuel. 23 grams of protein in here and north of 500 calories to kick it off and I don't have to boil any water to eat this so there's some fuel. Uh, savings to be had with that also. I am boiling water however for my coffee. I'm a big creamer guy with my coffee so to justify carrying this much creamer I'm using Wilderness Athlete uh, C8 MCT. I call it Wild Kate and what this has is high fat and about 70 calories per scoop so there's definitely some nutritional advantages to this over taking, say, a non-dairy powder. Um, also in the morning, I've got a couple uh, Wilderness Athlete Edge tablets just to just for focus and, and to keep the head in the game over the long the course of a long hunt, kind of like caffeine. Uh, moving into the daily stuff. I'm a little bit different each day, but still basically the same thing, basically the same weight. Uh, just shy of two pounds per day because the whole setup here is 19 pounds. For example, on this day here, I've got a top ramen. I may boil water and eat it as a soup, or I can just eat it dry. I have a F-bomb nut butter. I killed a blacktail this year on opening weekend of archery, so I have uh, some jerky that I made there, RX bar, some fruit snacks, Snickers, a little Debbie oatmeal uh, cookie sandwich, 150 calories in this thing, it's barely over an ounce. One third cup of uh, trail mix, and for each day a hydrate and recover and energy focus, wilderness athlete stuff. For, again, the, the hydration and focus advantages and just to drink something other than monotonous old water. Here's another example of a day's worth of food. This time I have two different bars, a Lara bar and a Wilderness Athlete Packout bar. 240 calories in that thing, 20 grams of protein, so a lot of nutrition packed into that bar. Uh, instead of jerky on this day, I have a half a pound of homemade summer sausage from that same deer. It's a comfort thing. It's pretty heavy, uh, not a lot of calories. To have something I'm going to enjoy up there goes a long way. Instead of um, top ramen on this one here, I've got a tuna packet. How I like to pack them is in these produce section super lightweight bags instead of using a heavy Ziploc. You can just take a quick look. For the middle of the day stuff here, we're coming in at just shy of a pound. We can add in breakfast and dinner for grins. One pound, 12 and change ounces. For each dinner, I have a Peak Refuel 
these are big dinners. Over a thousand calories on this one, and it's not even one of the higher range uh, meals that I have in there. Typically, I'm super full before I'm even done eating one of these dinners. Also at bedtime, I'll take uh, some of this Wilderness Athlete Unplug, just because anything I can do to help with uh, my quality of sleep on the mountain, I'll take it. Recovery is so important, and just not waking up throughout the night, if, if I can avoid that by taking something that weighs hardly anything, I'm glad to do it. And oh, one more thing on the Peak Refuels, I went ahead and trimmed off all the tops. Not only for saving weight, it saves about two ounces, but it allows you to fold them over, tape them down, and these two bags like this take up much less space than the full open container, fully expanded container anyway. So that's it. That's my food, and I'm hoping that it goes well. Thanks for watching.